It's okay now? Yep, it's all set. Yes, thank you. Yep. Thank you. Okay, now uh, my name is Aiko Tanaka, and I want, I want to talk about the, the influence of the seasons on Japanese table. First one, the Japanese people's appreciation and respect for culinary art is known around the world. To the outside observer, Japanese food and table settings may seem unique, innovative, and perhaps mysterious with demure portions perfectly arranged on dishes ranging from the simple to the intricate. The miniature universe of the Japanese table is an art that has been honed and refined for over a thousand years and now appears in some of the finest restaurants but its roots are surprisingly uh, down to earth. Through generation after generation, the people of this country have based on their meals on traditions surrounding the seasons and have incorporated the freshest local ingredients to enhance the color and taste of the even the homeliest of home cooked meals. Uh, what is Japanese food anyway? When we think of Japanese food, we aptly think of fish, vegetable, and rice. These are the, in fact, staple of the Japanese diet. Since the beginning of its history, Japan's varied topography and climate have led to its people living in close commune with nature. And, uh, this is a, a favorite environment on land and sea. Japan is located in the eastern end of the vast Eurasia, Eurasian continent near to the temperature zone. It is nation surrounded by the oceans where the wind often brings heavy rains. This means it is ideal for plant growth and variety of the plants makes it a perfect environment for both humans and animals. Since the land is elongated, elongated from north to south, there is a great temperature difference between the upper and, and lower regions. In the Southeast Ocean, where the warm Kuroshio current meets the Koda Oyashio, lies a global fishing ground in which over 3,000 species of fish can be found within 200 nautical miles of the coastline. Under the waves lie the abundance of the aquatic creatures and the edible seaweed. Close to the shore, one can sometimes find the and then pool, and then pools of seawater which are left to evaporate it, providing the salt necessary for human survival and which is also used in the preservation of fish and vegetables. Then there is rice. Oddly enough, Japanese rice was not necessarily the best match for the climate and what first introduced between 400 and 500 BC the ancient peoples found it necessary to strictly time the period of planting and growth to coincide with midsummer. They found that when the planting was delayed as little as 10 days, the rice that year was up to weather or die. Indeed, this careful timing still goes on today. Modern Japanese farmers remain sensitive to changes in temperature and the pre precipitation and are careful to work with the seasons. This has been one major influence on the Japanese custom of eating seasonal food. As previously mentioned, Japan is a country which stretches over quite a few latitudes from north to south 
with most of the country enjoying moderate temperatures and four di distinct seasons, farmers are in tune with the, their local climate and the focus on crops which will thrive in those conditions. Planting, harvesting, and selling product produce in accordance with season result in a relatively worry-free harvest. And Japanese consumers expect and look forward to buying seasonal food and vegetables, which are delicious and reasonably priced. And about Shinto influence, running hand in hand with its attention to nature is the Shinto religion, which is native to Japan. The Buddhism of early Japanese history traveled over the seas from the Asian mainland around 538 to 552 AD as a religion for the educated classes. But Shintoism has deeper roots as a primal faith based on worship of nature, God. And as such, as, um, as such has always been more accessible to the common people. In Shintoism, it is said that there are 8 million gods and goddesses of the mountains, rivers, forests, and seas, and they are appreciated and worshiped as the bringing, bringers of food and protectors of home life. About concept of hare and care. In the early 20th century, the scholar Kunio Yanagida shed light on the previously undocumented lives of Japanese commoners through his research into Minzoku Gaku, or native folklor folkloristics. He concluded that the average Japanese people behavior, speech and eating and habits could be divided between the Shinto concept of hare and ke, special occasion versus daily life. On day of hare, which is included local festivals or other days, deemed propitious on the calendar, one would done their best clothes and prepare a dish of seasonal food on special plate decorated with freshly picked flowers and greens. These meals tended to be step above those made on daily basis and included things such as pearly white mochi cakes, red, reddish colored sekihan rice, sake and grilled fish with head and, head and tail intact. These meals were first offered to the God and then consumed among the family, friends, in a sense of sharing between the human and the divine. This custom is called Na orai, the beauty and color of each individual dish played a part in the general feelings of celebration. On days of ke, Japan commoners return to the lifestyle of quiet humility, a uh, characteristic necessary in order to maintain the harmony of communal farming. Simply content, Daily meals consist of plain white rice accompanied by a bowl of soup and three small side dishes. Each meal was preceded by saying itadakimasu, a single word with great gravity as it was the giving the thanks to God, nature, and all those responsible for the meal. Crops were commun communally harvest and the shared meaning that in any given village, each household would be eating a meal consisting of the same main ingredient. Long stretches of cake could become tedious and 
it was therefore necessary for the mental and the spiritual well-being of the community to interpose the Mandan days with the festival and much anticipated days of the Hare. In the Japanese language, the term Koseku means five fest seasonal festivals. Koseku is the name given to the yearly ceremonies born from the Chinese theory of yin and yang, which was practiced in the imperial Japanese court and then spread to common society during the Edo period, 1603 to 1868. These were the most important festival days, the days of Hare as in ancient China, the five seasons were calculated by the odd number phases of the moon. Even in the modern day, people in the villages and towns throughout Japan visit the Shinto shrine to pray for the happiness and fertility and the prosperity of their home and community. Considering the long history of these traditions, it is remarkable that the special days of Hare are celebrated in the same way as they were centuries ago. Gosek Five Seasonal Festivals, let us now introduce the Goseku, the Five Seasonal Festivals. They are as follows, Oshogatsu New Year's, Hinamatsuri Girls' Day, uh, Girls' Day Festival, Tango no Seku uh, or Kodomo no Hi Children's Day or Boys' Day, Tanabata as Summer Festival, and Kiku no Seku a Longevity Festival. First, Oshogatsu, January 1st. The most important of the seasonal celebration is January 1st, the first day of the new year. In the preceding weeks, houses are scrubbed, spotless, and the decorations such as, as um, Shimenawa, Kadomatsu, and the Kagami Mochi are displayed in the home to welcome the New Year's God. Many of these decorations incorporate Matsu, Japanese pine, with evergreen branches that symbolizing unchanging prosperity. As for food, kagami mochi is a New Year's decoration of particular interest in that is edible. These round rice cakes are meant to be humble imitation of round mirror favored by the gods and which are found in Shinto shrines. The hard day, hard dry mochi cakes are stacked in increasing size from top to bottom and crowned with a dai dai orange and the stick of dried kelp. The orange represents cont continuity as the written, written symbol for dai dai means generation after generation. Displayed in home alcohol until January 11th, the kagami mochi is then crushed with a wooden mallet and added a soup or eaten with a sweet red beans as a dessert. During the first few days of January, families and neighborhood neighbors gather together to partake of special osechi food and white miso soup called ozoni which are only prepared on this time of the year. Special attention is given to the color and the shape of the ingredients, particularly red and white for good luck. And they are arranged in multi-layered lacquerware boxes which combine practical storage with elegant display. Guests at the home party of sake and red bean rice for wealth, fertility, and the longevity. A more practical side of the osechi ingredients is that they are prepared 
in such a way that they are naturally preserved and can be eaten for days without spoiling, allowing the woman of the household to enjoy the holidays without having it to work in the kitchen. And uh, Hinamatsuri, March 3rd, the next Seku holds on March 3rd, and it is the day of the peach, more commonly known as the Hinamatsuri as a girls' day festival. This celebration began during the Heian period, 794 to 1192, in celebration of the long life and the prosperity of the female children of the emperor's court. Peach flower were the remnant of the Chinese imperial court and uh, uh, through to hold mysteric, mystical feminine power. From the Edo period, the girls' day celebration was applied to all daughters of the local nobility with a symbolic paper doll being placed at the local shrine for good fortune and then set adrift on the river at the festival's end toward of natural disaster. In modern Japan, Hinamatsuri is celebrated on the smaller scale by families nationwide. Household with female children will often purchase or have passed down to them a set of decorative dolls dressed in ceremonial kimono of the Heian coat and will partake of white sake and hishimochi with a three colored of spring. Chirashi zushi, made by mixing a large amount of sushi rice with a variety of seafood, eggs, and vegetables is symbol of family life is that all present may help themselves from the one dish. Miniature serving on tiny dishes are set aside for the dolls and the colors of pink, white, green are used to represent femininity and the spring. Next one is uh, May 5th, Tango no Seku. Following the Girls' Day Festival, the so-called Children's Day of May 5th, through its primary celebration for boys. This is known as a Tango no Seku. In the first week of May, it is common to see cup-shaped streamers represent, representing fathers and sons flying from balconies or rooftop. In this season, decorations of kabuto, samurai helmets, and the iris arrangement are displayed in homes with male children. It is said that the iris blossom resembles the shape of a sword, and therefore this flower is a fitting symbol for the health and material martial arts skill of young men. It is tradition of this holiday to consume red bean filled kashiwa mochi and chimaki as sweet rice dumpling wrapped in bamboo leaves. In days of old, young men took such food as a provision when he did, when he heading to battle. The leaves in which they were wrapping preventing the mochi from spoiling. That is why they are considered a masculine symbol. Kashiwa mochi are wrapped in symbolic oak leaves. As the leaves of the oak tree do not fall until new leaves have be begun to grow. So does the treasured family line continue through the male children. Tanabata is the 7th of July. On seventh day of uh, seventh day of seventh month comes Tanabata, a uh, sick with a story that has not changed much 
since its origin in ancient China. According to this celebrate uh, celestial love story, the weaver Orihime and the cow herd Hikoboshi, represented by the stars Vega and the altar, are separated by the father's anger. They are reunion, reunited, just uh, once in a year on July 7th, the day when they may cross the Milky Way. Considering its long history, it is remarkable that the event remains an annual celebration throughout Japan. When it's weeks leading up to July 7th, school children and adults alike will write wishes on slips of paper and tie them to bamboo cutting in the hopes that they will be fulfilled. Young bamboo is strong yet flexible, able to withstand the heat of summer and cold of winter and unbroken by strong winds. It was considered the perfect con candidate for caring wishes. And uh, during this July celebration, chilled foods such as so many noodles, which are long and thin like the thread used by Orihime to weave her grounds are associated with the summer holidays. With the high temperature and the humidity of summer, people crave food to soothe and refresh the body from the inside out. So many requires a little boiling and is served cold pickles, it's served cold. Pickles, uh, pickled vegetables prepared and stored earlier in the year are also popular during the hot months. Summer foods tend to be served on dishes of clear glass to enhance the summery mood of the meal. Unlike other countries where dishes are used the year round, in Japan, it is common for families to have an entirely different set of dishes for each season. And uh, last one is September 9th. On September 9th, Japanese people celebrate the coming of the fifth season. Kiku no Sekku, the season of chrysanthemum was celebrated under the assumption that odd number have a stronger young, once again borrowing from Chinese traditions and thereby a harvest celebration was necessary to counter attack the effect of double odd digit, digit which appears in this date. The chrysanthemum is symbol of the Japanese royal family, representing stability and longevity and the smell of these flowers, which bloom in autumn, it is said to ward off evil spirit. In olden times, people would bathe among chrysanthemums, blossoms and drink sake laced with its petals or sprinkle them on rice or sushi. Kiku no Sekku doubled as a harvest festival as it consigned it with the bringing in the in of the fall crops. The, um, the importance of continuity uh, through the years the foods and uh, traditions surrounding the Gosekku have adapted to modern living while still retaining their original heart and soul form. They represent the hopes and wishes of the nature-based people, giving simple appreciation to an abstract set of gods who are company, company, companions to the average person ever present in the object around them. Today, 
as it was hundreds of years ago. Colorful seasoned foods on tableware designed for that particular holidays are pre prepared on, uh, on days of Hare at the time of celebration. The decoration lies not in fancy napkins and the centerpieces, but in the way the food is arranged to bring out its natural color and aesthetic. And uh, great fish appears to be leaping from the plate. A hollowed out citrus becomes a dish. Fruits and vegetables are cut into the shape of the flowers and the actual seasonal foliage is brought from outdoors to be placed onto the prepared meal. These traditions originated in the desire to please the gods and invite them into the home, but also extended the activities of com communal enjoyment, such as a cherry blossom viewing and the, in the spring and the outings of admire the autumn leaves or new fallen snow. The joy of the season also lies in the preparation with every household decorating and creating meals in a common theme, common theme regardless of age or class, lending the sense of comfort and enjoyment as the heart and soul are polished by practicing the same ritual year after year. The contents are dictated neither by religious dictoring nor by government. Rather, they are born from the people's shared desire for happiness and the celebration and the continue without the hesitation. No matter their place in society, each family is likely to own the specially crafted dishes for serving at the New Year's or set of the decorative dolls displayed during the Girls' Day Festival and Children's Day. In conclusion, I believe it is the high regard uh, for seasonal beauty and its importance in each meal that catches the eye and makes the traditional Japanese food so beautiful to behold. The use of seasonal ingredients generation after generation is an homage to the communities which work together to bring food to the table and single of the continuity is the essence of Japanese society. This is the influence of the season of Japanese table. Thank you very much. <laughs>